And welcome to today's Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 12th of October 2023. We'll hope you're having a good Thursday. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, you saw US equities positive and mild gains across all the major indices. It was a choppy session and the Russell didn't quite make it into positive territory. We had the FOMC minutes out, which reinforced the Fed's prolonged high rate stance. And PPI was slightly higher than expected, which doesn't bode well, perhaps, for tonight's CPI number. We've also got earnings season starting imminently, with the big banks starting to report tomorrow. US futures, however, despite that big data out later, have cautiously edged higher in early Asian trading. Asian markets generally higher, with the ASX up around about a mere 0.2%. The VIX fell again overnight and European futures are pointing also to a cautiously positive open. I think you get in the drift in that cautious is the word of the day. The US dollar index fell again and is at three week lows and gold continues to recover with another strong day yesterday. Copper has paused mid range and all has dropped again to reverse Monday's surge after that conflict escalation in the Middle East. Bitcoin has pulled back and is retesting the 200 EMA and obviously as well as that US CPI data, we have had some other data across the wires and more to come later. Australian consumer inflation expectations were slightly higher than last month and the Japanese PPI was slightly softer. We've got UK GDP and US weekly jobs also are due and of course the Middle East situation will continue to be watched. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. The Euro Yen looks interesting. I'll put it on the four hour chart just so you can see the longer term context of this and you can see this level at around about 158.50 looks important it's bashed against this several times over the last few days without breaching it but you can see we're having another go in asia today if we just look at where this might go it wouldn't be unreasonable to expect it to move up towards 159 and possibly even a little beyond but a 50 pit move looks on the cards if we look at an hourly chart you can see how it is up in Asia, but all we're doing at this stage is testing yesterday's highs. So worthwhile being patient until we get a breach of 158.50. On the ASX, uh, Megaport Limited MP1 is the ticker code. Uh, looks interesting. We saw a test of 12.38 back in mid-August. Prior to this retracement, you can see we consolidated around about that $11 level for quite some time. But we see us moving higher again and back testing $12. I'll keep an eye on this 1240 level as it is an area of interest. If just pop it on a weekly chart, you can see why this level could be important. If we do breach it, we could see this stock move over that $13 level and perhaps even as high as $14.50 in the medium to long term. So one to keep an eye on, but also worthwhile being patient to make sure that we've got a breach of 1240. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.